Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. Wanted to bring something out quick. Um, going into Romans, the ninth chapter. All right, because um, the Ro Romans, the ninth chapter covers a lot. All right. And it proves that the heavenly father and his son is only dealing with the nation of Israel. OK. And it's a it's a very heavy uh, chapter because I, I call this the um, it's basically like the uh, Christian doctrine crusher. It, it crushes their false doctrine and literally the third to fourth, fifth verse. You could read that and, you know, th that's it. You know, there's nothing you could go up against this. If not, you'll be contradicting the scriptures. All right. So um, I'm going to read through it really quick. Touch a couple of key points and uh, how willing to be it to be edifying Romans nine and one. I say the truth in Mashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were a curse for Mashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. OK, so. Paul speaking to who the brethren, the kinsmen, which are according to the flesh. All right. Brethren and kinsmen are related. All right. And uh, the Israelites are related. How? through their forefathers okay that's that that seed okay abraham isaac and jacob so now he's going to tell you who's the flesh who his brethren who his kinsmen are verse three who are israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of god and the promises that that's <laughs> all right that's the the gospel that's the good news all right that we're gonna that um because it's mind you verse four is speaking to who who are israelites and everything associated with them right which is the adoption us being able to come back to the father all right nobody else Oh, see, we could. And then and then you'll have the, uh, you know, the Christian seed. They'll be like, see the adoption. That means we can come in. But no, the beginning of the verse says who are Israelites to them pertain the adoption to come back. All right. To him, not anybody. And the glory and the covenants. Right. The glory. Uh, you know, we're going to receive new bodies, the kingdom of heaven etc right uh and the covenants with the with an s because he made the first covenant with who the israelites which were in a transition period between the first and the second all right because we're not fully in the second covenant because if we were then i wouldn't be doing this video because everybody will know <laughs> that who yahweh the lord is and um, for the ones who are Israelites, they will know, you know, they will know they're Israelites and they'll know who their God is. But since we're not fully in the second covenant, you know, um, the second covenant was made with who? The Israelites. All right. It says that he will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. All right. So. 
the second covenant doesn't include any other nation besides the nation of Israel. It says, and the giving of the law, who was given the law? The Israelites and the service of God who could serve God, the Israelites and the promises, everything else that was told that was promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. That's who it pertaineth to. That's who all of these things belong to. Now, check this out. Verse five, it says, whose are the fathers? And of whom as concerning the flesh, Mashiach came, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. So be it. So Yahweh Shai came for those concerning the flesh, concerning um, his brethren, his kinsmen. All right. Who are Israelites. That's who Yahweh Shai came for. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna grab. No, no, we're gonna stay in this chapter. Let me see. Now, see, verse six, they try to see, see, not all Israel are Israelites, you know, you have spiritual Israelites. All right, verse six, not as though the word of God have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. What's that mean? That means you're going to have Israelites who, you know, either they come into this truth and, you know, they ultimately, you know, they're not sincere. You know, they're not uh, truthful in this truth. They they may have ulterior motives, etc. Right. Or the, the um, you know, also uh, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're they're Israelites, but they're counted as heathen right now. All right. So, yeah, you know, there are Israelites who um, just aren't going to be counted as Israel. They're going to be counted as heathen. So that doesn't give you a wiggle room for the other nations to, to claim. Oh, see there. Yup. We're Israel, spiritual Israel. Where where in the scriptures does it say that God was going to save his people and a spiritual group of people who spiritually call themselves Israelites. It, it doesn't exist. And then and then it goes into the election according uh, to, to God's election, who God chose. All right. And then it goes into that seed, which is Abraham, Isaac, down to Jacob. And it goes into Jacob and Esau. Right. Verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I love, but Esau has I have I hated. All right. Um, there's a like two more verses that what I notice these wacky tacky Christians and any any uh person who likes to use the anybody could be saved by you know that that false doctrine, you know, they run to these two scriptures. See, that's talking about us. Well, let's uh let me find it. So then I was going into Pharaoh, how God raised Pharaoh up and made him this great power, how he took him down to show everybody how great Yahweh is and for his name to be declared throughout all the earth. Let's see. So we got that. So it goes into nobody can resist his will, which lets us know there is no free will because we're all doing the will of the heavenly father. And then uh, it goes into the vessels of honor and dishonor. You know, you had Jacob and Esau came from the same, the same lump of clay. Are you meaning the? They both came from uh, Isaac, right? But they became two different nations. One was for honor, the Israelites, and the one for uh, dishonor are the uh, the Edomites, self-proclaimed white race of people that I really read according to the scriptures. All right, let's see. Uh, Look, at, let's go to verse 24. It says, uh, even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. See, the Gentiles were called. Well, the Jews only pertaining to the to the um, 
the uh, southern kingdom all right the the uh, the tribe of judah benjamin and levi all right they were considered the jews but to the gentiles uh but also of the gentiles the israelite foreigners which was uh for the most part northern kingdom that had left during the the split of uh king Rehoboam and jeroboam when they did the split you know you had northern kingdom that had already left living amongst the other nations are right, getting put in captivity under the other nations and guess what you know them living so many uh years under uh, uh under these under amongst these other nations guess what they're gonna start acting like them living like them keeping their their ways and then the ones who who didn't leave and still kept the customs all right they're gonna look at those israelites like y'all some damn heathens <laughs> you know so it it was called the called was the northern and southern kingdom you know all of the tribes of the nation of israel now here it goes now verse 25 it says and and as he uh saith also in Ozea, oc which is uh hosea i will call them i will call them my people which were not my people and her beloved which was not beloved see that's talking about the other nations all right i had this one goofy try to use that and um you know i went into um went into Hosea. All right. Let's see. Hosea 2 and 23. And I will show, show her unto me in the earth. And I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, thou art my people. And they shall say, thou art my God. All right. Joel 2 says what? That he is in the midst of Israel. All right. He's the God of Israel and none else. Let me see. And who who's Hosea talking to? Or right. was he talking about the other nations? Absolutely not. All right. He's talking about the Israelites. Let me see. Let's go to chapter one. Let's go back to uh, Romans nine and verse 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There shall it be. Shall they be called the children of the living God? And that's not talking about the heathens. All right, the natural heathens. That's talking about the Israelites. All right, Hosea 1. And uh, this is how God likened the children of Israel, right? You know, he considered us not his people because we were going off. All right. But he's he uh, is allowing us to come back to him. This is Hosea 1 and 9. It says, then said God, call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Verse 10, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it should be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Okay. So this is speaking of who? The children of Israel lets you know. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So we're going to be a, a great multitude. Mind you, we've been scattered. All right. Throughout the four corners of the earth. So people ain't looking at you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Like, oh, yeah, those are Israelites. No. They just look at you as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But we're waking up to 
us being the children of God, us being the people of God. All right. And now we're declaring we are. All right. It says, yeah, we uh, ye are the sons of the living God. We are the children of Israel. Verse 11, then shall the children of Judah, which will be the southern kingdom and the children of Israel, northern kingdom, be gathered together. And that's what you're seeing. We're being gathered right now, first and foremost, by the word and ultimately going to be gathered. How? When you how I returns. All right. Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah, all right, which is Isaiah, also crieth concerning Israel. So verse 27 lets us know that verse 25, well, everything, the whole chapter, all right, that Isaiah was also crying concerning who? Israel. That's who this is talking about. Going back up to the top. Paul was talking about who? His brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, just like Hosea was, just like Isaiah is right here, it says 27. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be called. And what's that remnant? That's the um, the small number the Lord's coming back to save. All right. The the one third and the elect 12,000 from each tribe, the 144,000. All right. That's the remnant that's going to be uh, redeemed. That's going to be saved from the destruction that's to come. All right. Let me see. Yep, there it goes. Let me jump down to um, 29 and. As Isaiah said before, except Yahweh, the Lord of Sabaoth, had left us a seed, all right, not a spiritual uh, nation, all right, no, that seed, that lineage, all right, that sperma, all right, the Greek word for a uh, seed is sperma, which is a male seminal fluid, all right. We had been as Sodom and had been made like unto Gomorrah. So if he didn't leave this this remnant, hey, we would have been destroyed. Okay. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. That was really the point, you know. Romans the ninth chapter, the Christian uh, crusher, <laughs> you know, it, it literally lets us know that. The glory, the adoption, the covenants, the service of God, the giving of the law and the promises is to the Israelites, his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh. This isn't spiritual Israel. No, this is a literal physical Concerning the flesh, who Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, who he came for. Okay. This is for them. Yahweh willing, this was edifying to next time. Shalom.